Hello, guys. My name is Imran Khalid. So today, I don't have any words to tell you. Because last night, I posted a video of a history of the Dilophosaurus toys from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. And I told you in the end that comment down below what you want to see next. What dinosaur toy history you want to see next. But nobody commented. Nobody commented. How I'm gonna how I gonna know that which dinosaur his which dinosaur toy history you wanna know next? So guys, please do me a favor. Uh go check out my last video and comment down below which dinosaur toy history you wanna know next and let's get started with our video so guys today i want to talk to you about jurassic park and jurassic world protagonists or you as know or you know as heroes so first of all let's get started with the jurassic park protagonist or you can say the hero that was the Tyrannosaurus Rex debut in the Jurassic Park series which was so freaking awesome to see because Tyrannosaurus Rex was so good and here's a picture of the Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park 1. So, as I told you, that was the debut Tyrannosaurus Rex, the first ever time, first time we saw Tyrannosaurus Rex on a big screen. Because we only see that Tyrannosaurus Rex with a King Kong and a really old version, like, it was like a, what do we say? Uh, it was like a, what do we say? It, give me a minute. Yeah, it could be a slow motion play, like a slow mo play, uh, play video. Stop motion video, as we should say, stop motion videos. And we saw a Tyrannosaurus Rex, which was not that much cool, because after that, we saw Jurassic Park, where we get a humongous T-Rex, and it was so good to see, because the detail and everything, like, you can tell that, yeah, that was real. Look, you can feel that... It was real, and it was alive. So now we're getting on to the Jurassic Park The Lost World protagonist. And this one was a buck T-Rex or a bull T-Rex. So this T-Rex was cool because this uh, uh, shows us a real life like of dinosaurs because we see every dinosaur attacking and defending because like this was a family t of Tyrannosaurus Rex we got a juvenile T-Rex, the mother Rex and the daddy Rex which was cool to see first time because this was like all real life how a t-rex would feel when their kid will be like with something else like a human this time it wasn't like that they were the hero they will save the save humans and be the hero they were protecting and they 
Many, they kill many people, like, uh, I don't remember the names, but they kill people, and the, one of the, my favorite scene was the T-Rex escape in the city, New York City. That was so cool, because that T-Rex massive roar, that was freaking awesome, like, you can see buildings and the T-Rex is roaring. That was an epic scene. So now we are getting to Jurassic Park 3. Which has a different protagonist. Or you can say hero and everything. Because this dinosaur cannot be called da hero. It was kind of a villain. And it was a freaking Spinosaurus. Which is bigger than a T-Rex. But doesn't have a, a massive bite. And in the actual movie, what we saw was the Spinosaurus killing T-Rex. I know that was really sad for many people. People were crying and there was so much controversy on the fight of Spinosaurus and T-Rex because T-Rex was the uh, protagonist from two movies. For two movies, he was the protagonist. Jurassic Park 1 and The Lost World. But after all of a sudden, in Jurassic Park 3, Spinosaurus came and killed the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And in the actual novel, it was like, People have told that there was a deleted scene. Because as you know, the ending of Jurassic Park 3 was uh, Alan Grant giving the eggs of Velociraptor, giving back the eggs to the Velociraptor, but this wasn't the ending. The ending was supposed to be Spinosaurus versus Velociraptor. And the Velociraptor is attacking the Spinosaurus. And all of a sudden, a T-Rex came and killed the freaking Spinosaurus. So this feud would be over. But again, a new controversy has been, would have been begun that was like the fan of Spinosaurus would be sad because they would be like, that. this is unfair. Why would you do that? And they did this perfectly in Jurassic World. They copy this whole uh, ending to the, the to the next part to the Jurassic world but with a new villain and it was the Indominus Rex so over here we get a massive massive fight T-Rex versus I-Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Indominus Rex. The biggest fight. Who is going to be the king of the jungle? Who are who is gonna be the king of Jurassic World? And I can I can tell you if it would be a single fight, as sim a normal fight, Indominus would have won that. But they uh, smartly added the Velociraptor Blue into that fight. And that was so cool to see like a raptor and a T-Rex teaming up against a hybrid of a T-Rex and a Velociraptor. That was so freaking awesome. But still the Indominus Rex was able to fight them until Mosasaurus show up. And that was a freaking epic scene when uh, Indominus Rex roar, T-Rex roar, Velociraptor roar at the same time. And at the same moment, Mosasaurus jumps out of the water and, what should I say, attacks the neck of the Indominus Rex and took him to the water, to his water. And probably he has eaten, or maybe the Indominus Rex has 
swim away, be alive, we don't know. And maybe we will get the answers. Probably not because we have seen a new hybrid in the Raptor. So I'm gonna say that the Indominus Rex has been killed. Which lead me, lead us to go towards Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Which could have many, many protagonists. Many protagonists. Like, you can get freaking, you get a T-Rex as a protagonist. Which could, which can be the uh, Rexy from Jurassic Park 1 and the Jurassic World. Which was never told in Jurassic World that it was the same T-Rex from Jurassic Park 1. So it will be cool to see Rexy again because again Rexy is showing up as a hero. Killing Carnotaurus and that is a freaking epic scene. But again, a T-Rex being a hero and saving the people. Will doesn't make any sense because it has saved in Jurassic, uh, the T-Rex being hero and saving people in Jurassic Park 1. The T-Rex say, has saved the day again in Jurassic World. And again in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The T-Rex is saving the day by killing, I mean not killing, by attacking the Carnotaurus. So is this, because this could be a coincidence, because every time T-Rex fights for its own. But it's also save the people and save the day. And now we go through another protagonist which can be a baryonyx you may ask how a baryonyx could be a protagonist well here's the answer when an spinosaurus could be a protagonist as a villain being a villain why not a baryonyx because Maybe he could help Tyrannosaurus Rex killing Indominus in the Raptor and be the protag I mean the second protagonist, you can say, or antagonist. Which will be cool because uh, Baryonyx belongs to Spinosaurus family. So it would make sense to be a protagonist or an antagonist. The other options that can be is a allosaur. Now, an allosaur is really many people think that uh, the blast of the fire killed that allosaur, but I don't know. But maybe it could be a lot because that was like he rolled up. Indominus also get a fire. Blast a uh, rocket launched, but he was alive and he ran away. So, why not a Allosaurus? An Allosaurus also could be really play an important role because it wasn't being shown any freaking where that we saw a one scene of that uh, Allosaurus. And that was too short to know us to get us uh, some idea how a Allosaurus will play his role. So maybe he could be because we didn't thought that Mosasaurus in Jurassic World will turn out to be a really, really massive role because in the end he killed the Indominus Rex. Now the there are two more options, two more options. One of them is a Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus was a little bit delayed and being defeated by the T-Rex as we've seen in the trailer. 
But we have seen Connor is running away. So what if it escaped and and went to the freaking uh, what we can say the Lockwood Estate, the Lockwood Estate, and that will be so cool because uh, Connor Torres also can camouflage. And then it will be awesome to see Controlers vs. Indoraptor and killing the freaking Indoraptor. So last one is a really common one, which makes sense. And that is Blue, the Raptor, the lead Raptor. So Blue Raptor Blue is so common as a protagonist because a, because an Indoraptor is the size of a, I mean, a little bit bigger and it will make a very great comparison because Raptor Blue against the Indoraptor will be so freaking awesome because it just makes sense. The Indoraptor will try to eat Owen Grady, Claire, and that uh, Lucy. And Blue will come to save the day. And then we will have a great battle. And uh, hopefully, Blue will win. Because I don't think so. I don't know why they will make uh, the Indoraptor win. So, these are my hopes. My protagonist that I think that should be the hero in the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie. And guys, what do you think about my <clears throat> about my thoughts? If you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye for now.